Welcome, citizens, to another edition of New Amsterdam Radio, a bonus edition. You see, IFL, the Influencer Fight League, is having a contest of the ages, the fifth edition, this weekend here in Los Angeles. I got the opportunity to sit and talk with those in the main event. It's celebrity slash influencer boxing, if you can imagine that. So I got to put on my little Howard Cosell, my Bob Costas, and get to interview fighters, and, and, and not just... Uh, the traditional fighters, but fighters that are aware of what it means to be an influencer as well. I think it's kind of a cool concept. Uh, being able to be a part of this is pretty cool. If you want to know about my personal projects as uh, a host, I commentated some of these events as well. So we're going to hear from Albert Ochoa, Marcus Portillo. These are two combatants in the main event for the Super Welterweight Championship. So hope you enjoy. It's a lot, a lot of fun. And uh, stick around Thursday for a brand new episode of New Amsterdam Radio. This Saturday, it's IFL 5. The ICB and the IFL Super Welterweight titles are going to be on the line. But this man is a champ. Albert, how's it going, sir? What's up? What's up? Uh, things are going good. Things are going good. I feel good. So, all right, let's get back down to brass tacks. Your opponent this weekend is Marcus Patillo. Someone hasn't really uh, boxed before. So, question I have for you off the top is, what tape are you watching if someone hasn't fought before? I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I I seen him his mid work a little bit. I seen his jump rope work. I mean, it don't it doesn't impress me at all. <laughs> so wow. I mean, I'm very confident. My team's very confident, uh, you know, so this is his time to try to get as much followers and money or sponsors, whatever. So this is his last chance, too. So it's all good. Well, let me get your perspective on the growth of influencer boxing. A couple of years ago, it really was a, a sideshow, if you will. But now it's getting eyes, it's getting dollars, it's getting exposure. What's been your take? Is it good for the sport or do you have reservations? Yeah, no, it's definitely good. I, I, I've, uh, they're good people. David's a great promoter. Um, you know, they're real people. You know, there's a lot of fake people in the business, and I, you know, I feel David, and he has my respect. Uh, IFL is definitely a great platform for anyone that wants to showcase their skills. Um, you know, I'm very excited to be the main event out there in LA. You know, um, and yeah, I'm just grateful to, for this opportunity, and especially the ICB to be involved in this uh, fight is a, it's a big deal, and it's it's a it's a dream come true for me. Yeah, and you're based in Sacramento or Vegas? Where are you these days? Yeah, so uh, I'm from Sacramento. I trained out there for a little bit, um, but I, I, I'm right here in Las Vegas, you know, face of boxing. So uh, I'm around champions, and it feels good. It feels good to be here. Well, so i got to ask you the question when it comes to any kind of combat sport. What was the moment for you where you decided, oh, this is something I can do, this is something I can do well, I'm going down this path? Um, you know, I just uh, – I always believed in myself from the gate. Um, you know, I think – you know, because I'm since I first started, I believed in myself. Um, and then just slowly, you know, I'm you know, it starts to become just a habit, especially if you fall in love with the sport, which I did. Um, and then I got connected with the right people. You know, now I'm working with world champions and, um, you know, and great professionals and you know that are in my corner and great people. So, um, you know, I think this is definitely the opportunity that I, um, or not, I, this is definitely the career that I think that's meant to be for my life and my career right now. Yeah. A lot of people have been talking about the quote-unquote death of boxing. People aren't just into it anymore, but that's going to be the case. You've got to fight this weekend. All eyes are going to be on you. But there was something you can do to really push that, that needle forward. What's boxing missing today in, in your eyes? What's boxing missing? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think what's missing is, like, some people don't fight. You know, the people that want people to fight, you know, they're not fighting. Um, they talk a lot on the internet, as you can see my opponent, you know, he's talking about as much as he wants on the internet before he was never talking now, you know? Yeah. Um, but you know, I just, boxing's changed a lot. You know, a lot of people are fighting, look at Floyd, he's fighting YouTubers right now and kickboxers. I mean, this is, that's the boxing, this era, that's how it is. And I think it's only going to keep getting bigger. The more people that are having these followers and these people that are watching, uh, coming over to the boxing world. So I think it's only going to get bigger. Yeah, being able to do what you do and do it well. You've been all over the country with fights. Is there a dream venue, a dream city you always wanted to attend uh, for fights? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I want to fight at, at Crypto. That's something I always wanted to talk about. I had the opportunity to, but we turned down some fights already. Um, that one, you know, I want to fight in New York. Um, yeah, New York and, 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 and Crypto. That's Those are the two places that I want to fight that I see myself garden? fighting. Yeah, the Garden. I see myself there, so... 
Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, all right. Uh, as we record this, IFL Five is coming to you heart from the heart of Los Angeles. I mean, if you yeah. or when, I'm not here to, to to predict, but you walk away with with the championship still yeah. in your possession. How are you celebrating that for the fact? Uh, pop some champagne right after. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, for me right now, you know, my goal. Yeah, I'm gonna win this fight. Um, the ICB Bell is gonna come home to me. Uh, bring it back to Vegas. Bring it back to Sacramento. Uh, I want to relax for about a week. You know, travel. You know, uh, spend time with my family, um, and then just take time to really learn this sport and just to you know, because for me, I'm very patient with this sport. I'm in my own lane, and I just want to take time. So this is my third fight in less than a year. Um, you know, I won the last two in Atlantic City and in Miami, um, and so this one, I just want to you know, just get the job done and just just relax for a little bit and you know, but still train and just take my time learning this sport and you know, no rush. No, Rush, that's how you get better and better and better. Uh, we yeah. just had the opportunity to talk to, to Marcus, and he had some choice words. So it's now it's time to rebut. If you had a chance to speak to him right now in spirit, what would you tell him? In spirit? Yeah, uh, right now. Yeah. You know, I hope you're training. You know, I hope, you know, this is the last chance you're getting. I mean, this isn't an easy fight for you. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I hope you're ready just Saturday. And that's it. And I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> He's not in shape. He's not in shape. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm working with world champions. I, I'm training. I, my last sparring match was with the world champion right now from Australia. Like, come on, who is he training with at a, at a fitness gym? Come on. Right. So. <laughs> One more question before we get out of here. Influencer Fight League, the promoter of this weekend's event, does things a little bit differently. If someone who isn't familiar with that brand, what they can expect when they come to see you live here in Los Angeles? I, I mean, like I said, you know, they're great people. It's a great company, great promotion team. Um, they're doing things different. I definitely think, you know, they're, 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 they're going to be up here. You know, they're already, you know, climbing up and making a lot of noise already. I, I did go to the last one. The last one was very entertaining. It was uh, a lot of people did show up. And then now for this one to be even bigger and at a bigger venue and, uh, and still in the heart of L.A. This isn't like the off springs over here in L.A. Now it's right in the heart of L.A. So, you know, what, what other people are doing that? Yeah, I had the pleasure of being on commentary for the last one, IFL 4. Uh, oh, but nice. this weekend, IFL 5 coming to you from Los Angeles. We're going to have the ICB and IFL Super Welterweight titles on the line. This man, King Ocho, will be there live in the ring. You don't want to make sure. it. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thank you. And, uh, you know, uh, you'll see uh, my hand getting raised Saturday night. Welcome back to the Ram Sam Radio. So this weekend, IFL 5, we're going to have ourselves a contest of the ages. We have the challenger here today, Marcus Bertiga. How you doing, sir? Doing well, doing well. How about yourself? How's everything, man? I'm feeling amazing, feeling great. I, I'm, I'm trying to be swagged out like you, man. Look at you. Fresh cut, looking dope, all Los Angeles. I mean, whew. You know what it is, man. I got, you always got to get that fresh cut on a Monday sometimes. You know, it's a big week, so I'm going to get a haircut Monday, which was today, and then I'm going to get one on Friday, too. Make look, make sure I'm looking good. Got to look fresh. IFL 5, pretty much the biggest IFL event ever, and you're going to be in one of the main events. Let's talk about this. Two titles on the line. Um, the ICB Influencer Championship Boxing North American Super Welterweight title, as well as the IFL Super Welterweight title. A question I have for you. First time out there. You feel the pressure? Um, I, I do when I think about it, right? Like if I start thinking about it and get it in my head, then I'm like, oh man, then I start thinking about all that. But I, I try not to, to think about, oh, I'm the main event. I try not to think about, oh, I'm, I'm going to fight for these belts. I try to just keep everything, you know, composure. And, and if I feel anything, I just try to channel, channel it in and just get to work and just go out there and just perform. You know, at the end of the day, it's a competition and I'm just there to perform, you know? So that's my main focus and that's where I'm putting my energy. I'm not putting my energy where... Oh, we're fighting here. We're fighting there. It's like that doesn't matter to me. I mean, you can't deny it, though. Your opponent, Albert Ochoa, is a stallion himself, right? He has some wins. He has some experience. I mean, are you watching tapes? Are you? Are you got a for sure. training plan? What's up? Oh, for sure, for sure, man. I got you know, I got I got a couple world champions on my corner um, that have produced world champions. So we're we're studying him, man. We're studying him, seeing seeing what he does well, seeing how he's been improving off of every fight, every every fight. So, yeah, man, like a lot of people are telling me, you know, like, like you feel the pressure for anything. It's just like it is what it is, man. Just got to study him and just stick to my game plan. And if I execute right, then there's really nothing I should should worry about. I know I'll come out victorious. 
So here on New Amsterdam Radio, we always talk about the craft and past. So what was the moment for you when you said, you know what, I want to hit people in the face for fun and sport? <laughs> what was the moment for you to go down that path? Oh, yeah, that, that's, a great, that's a great question. So a little background story about myself, right? Uh, I grew up playing football, so, so being physical was not a problem. You know, it, I mean, you're going to football, you know, you're colliding against another person full speed. So, you know, contact wasn't really an issue, and I did wrestling as well. Of course, boxing is different, but... I just started seeing a lot of influencers just start jumping on this. And I was just like, I've been an athlete my whole life. I don't see why not um, pushing forward with, with boxing and just uh, and just going for it, you know? It's kind of just, hey, kind of, it is kind of a, like, you know, everyone's doing it. Why, why can't I, right? So yeah. I just figured um, I just go for it and, and give it give it my all, you know? Why not? You know, I've always been that kind of person. A, a couple of years ago, the idea of influencer boxing was kind of seen as a joke, right? Like, oh, that sounds like fun, but it's it's really, you know, if not uh, as serious as, but in line with uh, traditional boxing. What's your, been your stance on that? You know, being in that mix, seeing other influencers training, go out these fights. You know what? I think it's great for the sport, right? At the end of the day, like we're getting more people to watch boxing. Like I know for my for my show, I'm gonna have a lot more people coming. It's gonna be the first time ever being at a boxing event. Mm -hmm. So I know in the beginning, right, it was kind of like, oh, why, why are they doing this, right? I mean, I got to give credit to Jake Paul. You know, Jake Paul was, a, was the first person I see doing it. I was like, this, guy, this guy's insane. This guy's nuts. What is he going to do? And um, I think it's, it's been like, I think it's been great for the sport. And I think a lot more people are starting to understand, like, you know what? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt the sport that people are trying to do. It. It's like, in the beginning, I know it was like a lot of backlash. Or like, oh, you guys shouldn't be doing this, this and that. But I think it's great, right? I mean, you know, everyone's starting up their own league, and like I think, I think it's an amazing thing for the sport, and it's just great for me because I know it helped me lose a lot of weight, and um, I know I, I for sure my body has changed. You know, doing the boxing, understanding like, you know, what you can't be doing, what you can do, and so like, I think it's great. You know, I think sports are an amazing things, so it's it's been great. 22,000 TikTok followers can't be wrong. Seeing you living your live training, how you live large. I, I got to ask, though, has there been some haters in the mix? And if so, how do you handle them? Oh, man, there's been there's been a lot of haters for sure. A lot of people calling my name out, saying a lot of things. <laughs> but I embrace it, man. Like, you know, I, I'm I'm taking the villain role on this. You know, I'm taking the villain role. Um, I'm taking the underdog role, and, and, I, and I'm running with it, you know? Um so I like it, man. I'd rather be a villain and, and be hated by more people than, than be loved. You know what I mean? Like 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 Kobe like Kobe says it, like, right? Not everyone's gonna love you. At the end of the day, you're either a hero. Some days you're the hero, some days you're the villain. And honestly, I'm choosing the villain on on this row. On this can, uh this row, yeah. Can I fight. ask you can I ask you why? I mean, I thought people thought it to be the hero. Cheers and being carried through the streets as being a, a hero, but you're like, no, I'm the opposite. I'm the joke. Yeah, um, you know, I grew up I grew up wanting to always be that. I, if you if you know if you know me, you'll be like, nah, this guy is more of like a hero. But I don't know, man. Something about just being the villain. I think Albert has has a bigger following, bigger, bigger platform than me. So I'm I'm figuring, all right, then let, let's make him the hero, let's make him the you know, let, let's make him the king, as right. He calls it King Ochoa, and you know, somebody has to ruin on the parade, and I guess that's going to have to be me, you know? Yeah. Uh, what do you do when, when you have a day off? When you're not training, you got some time for rest and recovery, you got to see the fam, see the, see the significant other. What's, what's your plan? So my plan, I'm, I'm big on family, man. Like, yeah. honestly, the older I get, the more I realize, like, that's all you really have, man, is, is the people that, that are really close to you. And I really spend quality time, you know, people that I share blood with. You know, luckily... Not everyone shares that as you share blood with could be considered family, but the people that I do have shared blood with have been nothing but blessings. So my family has been like everything to me, and I like spending time with my girlfriend, man. That that, that woman is is amazing too. So ha having that quality time, just having having people, right? Like I think just just being with them and spending time, I think it's like the best thing ever. And, and and the significant other is all about you being a fighter. There's like no tension about about the violent nature of your. No, no. So so there's some tension, you know. So a little background about myself, you know. I got my engineering degree at Cal State LA, and I kind of put that engineering degree at a hold. I mean, not engineering degree, but engineering profession at a hold for this influencer thing. Um, she kind of like, you know, she definitely goes back and forth. Like, no, I just want you to be an engineer. Just focus on that. Um, but at the end of the day, man, I'm all about chasing my dreams. I'm all about taking that risk. You know, that's just something that's just installed in me, my DNA. So, you know, I'm taking the risk being an influencer um, and, and giving that a full-time, you know, full-time job in a way. So, 
she she goes back and forth, but I think this whole camp she's been understanding. You know, the more the weeks go by, she understands like okay, like we're going through it. Like I gotta be supportive, and and she's been nothing but support. But yeah, of course. I mean, every you know, we're not perfect. We we bump heads, but at the end of the day, like she has my back, and that's what matters. Nothing more devastating than losing a fight to a guy that knows mathematics. So I, I respect the fact you handle both there. That's uh, true. Walking out the fight on Saturday, let's say the result goes your way. What's the first thing you do? Do you celebrate? Do you go train for the next bout? What would be the weekend? So, so the, well, the weekend, so for sure, man, the weekend, I, well, my birthday was February 2nd, so I didn't really get to party this past, this past, you know, this past because of camp. But right after, right after that, man, I'm having a big ass party, dude. I'm probably having a big ass party at my house and just inviting whoever wants to come, come through the city of Montebello and uh, turn up, man. And then that week after, then, then I start probably take like a small trip enjoy that week and then and then get back to, to training and, and seeing what's next with uh you know the influencer fight league see, see you know what what they have in store for me at the end of the day i'm gonna have two bouts yeah hopefully i get be able to call some shots and and you know move forward so after this interview actually we're going to sit down with your opponent uh joe himself you've got some words for him now's the time cut a promo brother Oh, I just know. Oh, Chola, Chola knows, man. We've been going back and forth on Instagram. He already knows. Ain't no, no need to keep on talking, but just tell him to keep the same energy when I see him. That's all. That's all it really is, man. And, <laughs> and tell him and tell him that you know we were supposed to get this fight like a year ago, but he was ducking me, and finally here here it is. <laughs> Well, the time for ducking is over. It's Saturday, February 18th. Influencer Fight League 5 for the ICB and IFL Super Welterweight title. Marcus Perry, thank you so much for being on the show. Appreciate you. Hey, thank you so much, man, and God bless. I'll see you then, guys. Stay tuned.